Seven things your pastor will never tell you about the Bible. One, Jesus told his disciples to avoid Gentiles. Gentile means someone who is not a Jew. The Bible records Jesus saying, go nowhere among the Gentiles. He did heal a Roman servant, but the Roman first said he was unworthy. When a Gentile woman asked for help, Jesus ignored her. His apostles wanted him to send her away, knowing his views. Jesus called her no better than a dog. Only when she persisted, did he help her. This suggests Jesus saw his mission as for Jews only. Yet Christianity became a Gentile religion. Two, some books of the Bible are likely forgeries. Certain letters were falsely attributed to Paul. People lied about their identity to gain authority. They used the term pseudepigrapha for this. The pastoral epistles, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, are suspect. Scholars say their style differs from Paul's work. The language and teachings don't match Paul's, yet they were included in the Bible under his name. 3. Jesus warned against public piety. He said those who pray publicly will have no reward. Jesus advised going into a room and closing the door to pray. He criticized those who pray in the synagogues loudly. Jesus said to pray in secret rather than publicly. This suggests he opposed public group prayer. The Pharisees made a big show of their piety. Jesus saw this as seeking human approval, not true worship. 4. The Bible didn't just appear all at once. It was written over a long period of time. Different authors wrote the individual books over many centuries. Scribes then copied the texts by hand. Differences crept in with the tree writing. Editors modified the texts to fix issues. They updated the language as needed. Later editors assembled the books. They decided which ones to include or exclude. They also set the order of the books. So the modern Bible is the result of extensive editing. 5. The Bible portrays God as wrathful and even genocidal at times. The Bible's God is not always compassionate. The flood story describes God wiping out humanity. Only Noah's family is spared. God orders the Israelites to commit genocide as well. He tells them to devote them to destruction. This includes the inhabitants of Canaan. God says to not leave alive anything that breeds. The book of Joshua describes mass killings. God sanctions the annihilation of entire groups. This includes killing women and children. 6. The virgin birth seems to be a later addition. Paul's letters make no mention of it. Paul met people who knew Jesus' family, yet they never told him about a virgin birth. Paul just wrote that Jesus was descended from David. The nativity tales came much later in the Gospels. These claim Jesus had a virgin birth, but the apostles showed no prior knowledge of this. The virgin birth seems to be a later addition. 7. The Old Testament condones slavery. It provides guidance on owning and treating slaves. Slaves are regarded as property to be bought and sold. The Bible even permits the taking of foreign slaves. Slaves are expected to obey their masters without question. Attempts to escape slavery are seen as sinful.